Today, I want to talk about procrastination. Now, often when we talk about procrastination, it's like a bad thing. I'm procrastinating. and Why aren't I doing this? We beat ourselves up. But today, I want to reframe procrastination, give us a different lens through which to explore it. What if procrastination is your heart or your soul's way of saying, this is not for you to do right now? It could be for you to do later, or it could be for someone else to do. So each day we make many choices, and I want to encourage you to notice the things that you are procrastinating and bring presence to your decisions. Instead of beating yourself up, look at each activity, and ask yourself, is it to my higher purpose to be doing this? Or is it perhaps something that someone else thinks I should do that really doesn't feel aligned with me and my mission? Or is it something that could be delegated to someone else in your household, to your VA, or just let go of altogether, just totally dismissed? So my encouragement today is to think about both procrastination and presence as useful tools in your toolbox that you can put together and stop beating yourself up when you're procrastinating. If you are in fact procrastinating something that you really, really want to do, need to do, then consider just doing it. It's not as easy as it sounds, but I encourage you just to bring more presence to your procrastination and see how that feels. See if it feels lighter. I'm Pam Holland of Mindful Decluttering and Organizing. I encourage you to leave comments in the chat and let me know if this reframing of procrastination seems like hoo-ha to you or if it seems like it might be useful.